Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. I'm out here mixing up some sugar water for the bees. And I thought, you, I thought I'd show you how I do it. Now, uh, and then also if you would comment, any of you would comment wherever you're at, sugar prices. We need to kind of get this out to all the beekeepers. Where are you getting your sugar the cheapest? The cheapest that I found in this area uh, was a place called Aldi's in Dalton, Georgia. And it was like $2.99 a bag for a four pound bag. And so far that's the cheapest that I've found anywhere in this area. Uh, there was a place called United Grocery that I found some for around three, three forty some, and then uh, Walmart had it for I think three twelve or something like that, and then I found it at Aldi's for two ninety nine a bag. And you've seen this in previous videos of mine. Uh, I do have video on how to make these things right here, how to make these feeders, where you drill the hole. See these these have cavities here and you drill a tiny drill bit about the tiniest you can find about two-thirds of the way down up this direction and don't drill in the cavity on where the handles go on both sides uh what i do this mix because i've done it so much and it comes out really really close to one to one is i put five bags of sugar in this and then I just, I'll take it around back. I have been using the hot water, like so many cups of hot water and filled up, you know, to about right here. And it comes out really close. It may be a little bit more heavier on the sugar side, uh, but it, it's, it's close enough to one to one. It's really, really close. It's not gonna make any difference. Um, so I'll go around back and I'll show you how I mix it. Okay. Went around back here with my water hose. Of course, the honeybees can't wait. And I'm just going to spray it in with the water hose. Maybe just kind of fan it at first until you get the top of it wet so it won't splatter. And then once you, once you get a little bit in there, you can actually just stick your water hose down in it. And this puts a lot of pressure down in there on that sugar water to help it mix up. Uh, then what I do, I'll put the lid on this thing. I plan on using this. See there, I, I filled it up about a little bit shy of those holes right there where I drilled. And then I'll stop right there. And what I'll do now is I'll just uh, mix it good with a stir stick or something. And I'll put the lid on. And that'll sit there all day, or I'll just stir it with my hand. And I got a water hose to hose my hand off when I'm done. And put the lid on it and let it sit there till the end of the day. And I'll hose the whole thing off so I don't attract honeybees too much out here on the back porch where my agave plants are, my alligator. And we'll just let it sit there and let it, it'll, it'll turn clear. Then you know it's done. I'll put the lid on, take it out. And right out there is where I'm feeding. I'll show you a little close up. You can see right. See the bees going crazy after the one that's out there on the trampoline, the old trampoline that we're tearing apart. And that's how I mix it up. It's it's simple and easy. And uh, if you're not feeding your bees, you need to. Uh, I went down uh, and for the people that that thinks it's a mistake, open feeding. It's all about distance. If you have a distance of 300 feet or more, in my in my experience, it's been good. Now we do have obstacles in between the cornfield, some trees, and maybe that plays into it and helps a little bit too. But I went through the hives yesterday. I was putting out the extended release oxalic acid sheets, and I was going through small colonies. Big colonies, two frame nukes, nothing going on down there. The two frames had uh, honey, nectar, pollen. Uh, they're starting to collect from the, because I was having a little bit of issue because of the, the drought was so bad, they were starting to run out of resources with these splits. And now they're looking good. They're, uh, they're filling up with nectar and honey. No robin going on. 
Uh, it's all about distance, guys. Keep it three, remember what I'm saying, 300 feet or better. You don't put it next to your bee yard. Yes, you will cause an issue. 300 feet away. We used to do 200 feet, uh, but it wasn't an issue, but the further you go away, the better. And, and I know people talk about exchanging mites. If you really think that these honeybees are going to exchange mites uh, frantically and violently uh, fighting for sugar water over top of each other, and those mites are going to jump from one bee to another, think about that for a second. If anything, those bees are going to end up with less mites in your hive because it makes sense. I mean, the way they're uh, fighting is in, uh, fighting over that sugar water, it's, it's different than pollen. We have a pollen feeder, and, the, and you don't see them out there fighting over that. And you can put that pollen feeder right by your hives. It won't matter. It's the sugar water. It's, we're in drought. We're in dearth. They will fight over it 300 feet away or better. Behind a few obstacles uh, will help as well. Uh, try that. You know, look, if, if it starts giving an issue, pull it back. But I've never had an issue with it. And as far as exchanging mites goes, no, that's not going to happen. That's absolutely not true. And considering probably 95% of the bees at this feeder are mine anyway, uh, I just really don't see an issue with it. We've never had any problem with it. If you disagree, that's, that's you know, you do what you want with your bees. But, uh, but, Write in the comments about sugar, where you where you get your sugar at, what the price is in your area. It'd really help out a lot of the new beekeepers. Give them an idea where they can go and get sugar. Don't forget, if you have any kind of bee business, save those receipts because you can write this off at the end of the year with a, with your taxes because this is a cost. This is something that you got to pay for. So save those receipts when you buy your sugar water. That's about it, folks. We'll get off here and uh, finish mixing this. And don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Get a view of the bees feeding there. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.